So I thought that I'd just make a quick video here uh, demonstrating how to edit the bash prompt uh, and make it really, I don't know, custom and nice looking. Uh, more, a little bit better than the default. So uh, let's just go to my bash RC so you can see how this sort of works. Um, so there's this variable called uh, PS1. And by default, it's sort of set to just show the uh, user and the host name. And I think maybe the, the working directory, I'm not too sure, I can't remember. Uh, but I changed that. So there are a bunch of different uh, prompts that you can actually make. And mine here is a little bit uh, complicated. But um, it's not as difficult as it looks. You just have to understand how Bash... Um, uh, interprets things and special characters but anyway so uh, initially here I have a default prompt because when I first start my PC you know I don't have an interface and uh, I think that the characters maybe it's just this laptop but the characters look a little bit strange so I decided to set a default prompt and if my current terminal the current working terminal is um, ST then I actually manipulate it and change it and make it into what we see here on the uh, right side which is a very nice well-developed um, prompt sort of so let's just go through uh, this so these are the special characters right all of these um, 033 01 36 M these are uh, colors actually uh, because I wanted to have I don't know just just a little bit more contrast going on here um, so anytime you see these these are just colors so that bash knows to print out the that next sequence of characters in that color so um, right here this slash u is for my username then I change the color again this is green here uh, and then the at symbol then I also change the color again to blue and then I have a slash uh, H which is for the host now this is where it gets kind of fun so uh, I installed the nerd fonts and within them they they have like so many different um, sort of glyphs and images that you can use to um, to print out different uh, characters here so the first one that I have is this little like giant hamster I don't know what it is but I think it looks like a hamster um, and of course before that I changed the color then I print out the hamster then uh, I also change the color again then I print out the penguin then I change the color again and then I print out the Arch Linux logo right then again I change the color and this slash W is uh, to show the the directory and I, and I believe that the capital W shows the full path uh, let's just see here let me just confirm that um, yeah I just kind of forgot but yeah the the lowercase w shows just the current working directory so if it were lowercase it would just show um, like instead of showing uh, sl uh, slash sources slash dwm it would just uh, show slash dwm right so then if we keep going here um, I then change the color right then I print out, uh, sorry, not print out, I skip a new line, this backslash, uh, backslash um, and here does a new line. And then I print out these little arrows here, which we can see here. And then I change the color of the text to white. Um, I think it looks it looks really nice naturally here. So um, that's that's how you you really set it there's so many different options that you have and um, I'll just do a little bit of a demonstration here by changing my prompt really quickly and then showing you guys so if we say P is I don't know what should we set it as let's just say slash U uh, at slash uh, H and then let's just do like very simple then a little dollar sign I don't know so let us save it uh, let's spawn a new terminal and we see that um, this is how our new prompt is uh, and it looks you know 
I mean, it's it's not bad, but you know, it definitely doesn't look as good as before. Um, but let's go through and add a few more options here. That, see, and I think that I'll link uh, a nice web page showing you a, a greater list of options. But just for example here, so let's say we wanted the uh the time right so let us uh with this backslash a here this will give us the 24 hour time all right so let's just put our little arrows back in uh let's save that uh, and spawn a new terminal so here we have the the time here sorry i should have spaced that uh let's go back in there Uh, it's a little bit clearer. Uh, close this too many windows. All right, so that is the current time right now. Um, now what else? Uh, let's go back in here. Let's say we want to show the the version of Bash that we're using. I don't know. We can do slash uh, v here. Uh, wait. let's cancel that. Let's just say B. Okay. So. Alright, cool. And we have the bash version here. What else can we do? Um, let's this one's interesting. I haven't tried this one. This would show uh, the extra information from Bash here. So let's try this. So we'll get the Bash version, and then let's say this is uh, E for extra. Now let's close this out. Spawn this. Hmm. Ah, okay. So it's more specific, I guess. More specific in, in what version it is. But um, I think that that's a good a good explanation so far. Um, so this is how I've customized my uh, my prompt. You can literally put any any character, any image, as long as um you have the installed fonts. So if you want these nice characters here that I have, you should install either uh, Font Awesome or Nerd Fonts. Those are the two that I've used. Um, personally, I like nerd fonts more. Uh, font, um, font Awesome is actually pretty good, but um, you have to sort of pay and subscribe to get like the full package of of uh, glyphs and stuff. And it's, I mean, it's not bad even the free version, but overall, I think that the uh, nerd fonts are a little bit better. But um, either one works well. And once you once you install those, you can actually go online to the uh, nerd fonts or font uh, um, font awesome web pages and you can go on their cheat sheet and you can actually search through different glyphs and you can just copy them and paste them because you can either do uh, hex code if you if you insert hex code uh, the terminal should be able to print out the corresponding uh, character that you're looking for but I just recommend just going to the web page going on the cheat sheet copying and pasting and then uh, putting it into your prompt here, your bash prompt. So finally, let's just restore my prompt. And let's see how everything is. Yeah, so we're back here to the to the, uh, to the the default prompt that I have set up. Now, I don't know why, but whenever ST resizes itself, this line here changes color, which it should be red, but I'm not sure why. I think it's a bug in ST, but um, I haven't seen it do it in other terminals. Uh, but that's about it. I hope that you found this useful.